Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be cleaning my kitchen and I'm going to take you guys along for the ride. It's just after breakfast and I'm getting ready to clean the whole house but I'm going to start in the kitchen. In this video today I'm also going to be sharing with you my favorite things that I like about my kitchen and also some regrets that I have. When I got married, I was 20 years old, and I was supposed to make all these decisions about exactly how I wanted my custom-made kitchen, because our kitchen that was in before this was absolutely unsalvageable. Well, I've learned a lot since then, and I'd like to pass my knowledge on to you, because there's definitely some things that I've learned the hard way. I know there's probably some of you out there that are looking to redo your kitchen, or maybe actually putting a brand new one in, and I'm hoping that this information can help. Plus, maybe I'll give you some cleaning motivation along the way as well. I'm just starting by putting everything away and getting things where they belong and getting all the clutter picked up because, yeah, you can't clean around all that. And today's video is also a collaboration with Adeline Zook. She's a mom on YouTube too, and she's just really an inspiration to me. I really love to watch the relationship she has with her three girls. They're all really young yet, but it seems like she's just killing it in the mom department, and I definitely think that we can all learn something from her channel. So if you have not heard of her before, make sure you go check her out after you watch my video. She is going to be doing a cleaning video as well and I'm sure that you guys will love it because trust me, her house is beautiful. She also posts a video almost every day. I don't know how she keeps up a schedule like that, but she's amazing. She's also from Pennsylvania, so you got two Pennsylvania girls here. Like most people, I like to run my dishwasher at night, so in the morning it gets emptied. And this is one little chore that my daughter likes to help with, so I'd actually empty the dishwasher while my daughter was eating breakfast, but I saved the silverware for her to help me with. Yeah, it definitely takes twice as long, but hey, she loves it, and you know, I want her to learn. And another tip here about the silverware drawer, this is definitely one of my biggest regrets. It's super hard to clean. You have to like vacuum it out. I would, in hindsight, just much rather get a really cheap Walmart tray and I could take it out and put it in the dishwasher periodically. These kitchen cabinets, Kaufman's Cabinetry, I think it's called, an Amish cabinet shop close to us, build it special for our kitchen so all the space is used really wisely. And it's just a white paint and then they put a darker glaze over everything and it kind of settled in the cracks. And that's why it looks kind of cream with a darker, you know, finish in the cracks. And it definitely makes the beaded board backsplash really pop. I don't know if I would do it again. I'd probably just stick with pure white just because it would make it more bright. But I definitely think that the glaze makes it a little more homey and less sterile, if you know what I mean. And all the hardware, drawer pulls, things like that are a brushed bronze, I believe. And I think that works well with the dark countertops. This dress is a super comfy knit and I really like wearing it. It actually has zippers in the side for nursing access. I made it using the sack dress pattern if you're familiar with that. And here you can see my cleaning area under the sink. I thought about making it all pretty and beautiful when I was on my organization rampage back when I was pregnant, but I decided, you know what, I just wanted to function. I'm not going to buy anything new for this, I just want to make it functional. I never really used that drying rack, and so I decided to use it as a little organizer, and it actually works great. So if you have one to repurpose, go ahead and try it. I bet you'll love it too. And I usually spray down the countertops and the table with an orange-infused vinegar spray that I've made. I think I talked about it before. I'm not sure that I'm in love with it, but I made it, and so I want to use it up. Um, it was a great thing to do with all the leftover clementine peels that we were eating over the winter. And so, you know, it's free and there's no chemicals and it does clean pretty well. I just don't like that vinegar smell. But thank goodness it doesn't linger at all. And knowing me, I'll probably try it again next winter because now that I know I, what I can do with my orange peels, why not? Also, if you're a new housewife and looking to buy an oven, Make sure you ask the sales guy if it has time bake. Maybe that's not important to you, but hello. In our Mennonite culture, we always, like growing up, my mom would always put something in the oven before we left for church, and it would bake while we were gone. And then we'd come back and lunch would be ready. So I don't even have that option with this thing. I don't know how I missed that, but I have no time bake. So Sunday lunches are super simple, I'll tell you that. And here you can see my sink. I just really love that it is an undermount sink. I definitely think if you're putting a new kitchen in, that's the way to go. You can just sweep all your crumbs from the counter right into the sink, and you don't have like a little ridge to try to get the dirt up over. Also, the built-in soap dispenser. I never really thought about that before, but oh my goodness, it is so, so handy. I don't have to bend over and get a soap bottle out. I can just pump it, and the soap comes right into the sink, you know, since I wash dishes so often, right? <laughs> really, I use my dishwasher a lot, guys. But yeah, I really like the soap dispenser, and I'm glad that we put it in. Now I'm just washing down all the chairs and the high chair. Oh my goodness, this thing is always filthy. I 
I never understand how it gets so bad. Oh yeah, wait, I have a one and a half year old. <laughs> I guess we know why. Now, these chairs and the table did not come together. Um, I think we bought the chairs at Zimmerman's Chair Shop, and the table, actually, when my husband picked it up, he got it really discounted because there was like a little flaw in the middle, and I actually think it adds character to the wood. It originally had black legs, and I took one of the chairs into a paint store, and they color matched it, and then I took that exact paint color and painted the legs, so it looks like they belong together. And I did the same thing with the bench, and here there was a pen mark on the table, and at first I thought it was pencil, so I was trying to erase it and that didn't work so I got out the magic eraser and some elbow grease and it came right out. I tell my daughter she must write only on paper but clearly her aim is a little bit lacking. When I was little I knew that it was cleaning day when my mom would um, take everything and set it up on top of the kitchen table so I do that sometimes too just so I don't have to mop around it it's so much easier. I don't know, do any of you guys do that? Or is that just a weird thing that I do? To clean the microwave, I boil a cup of water first and then I let it sit in there until I'm ready to clean it. And then all the dirt comes off really easy because it's softened. I'm sure you've all heard that trick. I think you can also use vinegar as well, but I think water does just fine. And sometimes I put the turntable in the dishwasher, but not today, it wasn't really that filthy. I like to have some kitchen staples that we use a lot right out here on the counter. I used to wake up every morning and there'd be a sugar spoon laying on the counter and it would annoy me because my husband had got out the sugar canister and got a spoon and put some in his coffee and it was just annoying me. And then I thought about it, well duh, I'll just put some in a jar. So I have this sugar sitting in one of these jars and he can just sprinkle some in, no spoon needed. I actually had a bunch of questions about my countertops, if they were real or anything. No, they're just plain for mica and they've held up really well. And I really wish that I had enough counter space to have a hidden trash can, but I did not want to sacrifice cabinet space for that, so we're just using this one here in the corner. And it, I got it kind of to match the brushed bronze fixtures so that they kind of tie in together. But yeah, this would not be my first choice. And now I'm using pine saw water to wipe down all the cabinets. On a weekly basis, I just clean the lower cabinets and then the upper cabinets as far as I can reach or wherever I see dirt. I don't climb up on the counter or anything and reach to the hoy to the top. Besides, nobody's touching there anyway. And here I am at the appliance garage. I used to think that an appliance garage, or whatever you want to call it, that's what I call it. <laughs> I don't know what the technical term is. I used to think that was something that old people had, but my husband said, oh well, yeah, he wants to have it. And so I'm so glad that I agreed and I love it. My toaster is right there. It gets pulled out every morning twice. And I keep my KitchenAid mixer in there. Those things are so heavy. And so it's nice that I don't have to lift it up and put it on the counter every time. Now I'm using my e-cloth window rag to wipe down all the glass and the stainless steel appliances. Uh, here's another tip. I do not regret getting stainless steel appliances, but I do wish they were the touchless stainless steel, if you're familiar with that. But it's like a darker color and it does not get smudged near so quickly. But I don't even think they offered it back then, five years ago. We were actually thinking about getting black appliances because we thought they would be cheaper. But then we found out from Martin's Appliance, which is where we got all of our stuff, that they have been in dent deals and they move a lot of stainless steel through their floor and that's the stuff that gets bented and dented quicker, if that makes sense. Haha. <laughs> and so it's actually cheaper for us to get the stainless and so I like it, but like I said, this stuff is not the easiest to clean. I'm not really sure why they even gave us a discount because after they put our dishwasher in, which it had like a buckle kind of in the front, like the metal was dented. They took the front off and put a brand new front on, so it's not it's clearly not dented in the least anymore. So I'm really not sure why they gave us a discount, but I'll take it. So just remember to ask about bent and dent stuff if you are shopping for appliances. As I was cleaning, I saw that the freezer needed a little bit of organization, and so I kind of had this new thing where I clean as I go. And if I see a project that's going to take me less than five minutes, I try to take care of it right then and there, 
instead of waiting for another time. And as I'm cleaning here, I'm listening to a podcast called Now That We're a Family. I wait every week for the new episode to come out. Katie and Alicia Vogbert are just so awesome. She actually has a YouTube channel as well. I'll link it down below. But I'm kind of jealous of you guys if you're only finding out about their podcast now because now you can go like binge listen to everything um, instead of waiting week by week for the next one to come out. They just have really good sound wisdom and advice on marriage and family and raising kids. And again, that podcast is called Now That We're a Family. And yeah, you can just look it up online. And now I'm using my Shark Ion Duo Flex to sweep the floors, and I really like it. It's super easy to switch attachments on and off, and it's very lightweight. And I just love that there's no cord haunting after me as I clean. <laughs> I grew up in a big farmhouse where my mom would just mop the floors and most of my friends did not mop their floors and they said that, you know, hands and knees is the way to go. And so I kind of decided to try it and I've never really gone back. It's a small kitchen floor so it really doesn't take that long and I feel like I can really scrub and get this stuff up. And confession time, some weeks I just spot clean it and then the next week I really go at it. Also, when you teach school, you kind of do all kinds of crazy odd jobs in the summertime. And a couple summers, I was part of a cleaning crew, and they would hand wash all of their kitchen floors, no matter how big they were, down on their hands and knees. And some of these ladies were pretty old, so I figured, hey, if they can do it, I can do it. After the floor was dried, oh, by the way, I used pine salt water again for the floor. I bought some flowers at Aldi the day before and I wanted to see how long they would last in case I wanted to get flowers for gifts and things like that. I just didn't know how Aldi flowers were. Plus they had some really pretty peach ones. I couldn't just leave there. I think they were only $3.99 for six roses. So you can't hardly beat that. Also, this tray is another handy little trick. I don't like to have lots of stuff cluttering my counter, but I feel like if there's some things you want easy access to and you just plop them on a tray, it instantly becomes organized looking. After I clean a room, I always like to light a candle, especially my kitchen. My husband always remembers to thank me when he comes home from work and he sees the kitchen is clean and it smells really good. Also, I really like this black candle. It kind of matches really good. It was a gift from a friend, but I went to light it and here it was all gone. It was completely burned down to the bottom. So I just added a tea light to the bottom of it and lit that instead so it looks like it's there, but it's time to buy another candle, I think. And another finishing touch is always to hang fresh tea towels. I got these towels from the Target Dollar Spot, I think back in February, and I just like the printed text on them. Okay, I hope I gave you some cleaning motivation for today, and also maybe some of my tips will be handy for some of you if you're thinking about designing or redoing a kitchen. Also, I'm so glad you're here. Please subscribe if you're new around here. I make lots of videos about my life in Lancaster County as a young Mennonite mom. Also, don't forget to check out Adeline's video next. I know you're going to love it. I will put her link down below in the description box. Also, make sure to let her know that I sent you over there. I think she would find that interesting. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all in my next video.